If you are new to D&D or just want some clarification on how to make a character, today I'm going to walk you through it as fast as humanly possible. Let's go. Okay, so first thing is first, you need a cool character idea. No ideas? Check out our video on building better characters. That's step one. Think of a concept. If you need inspiration, think about someone you know that inspires you and add a twist to their life. Or you can take a favorite character from a show or movie or book or what have you and alter it just a little to have more of your flavor. Once you've done that, you want to get your stats ready. Whether you are using the point by system or rolling for it, talk to your DM about this part. Get your points and have them ready. Now think about your background as well as your race and class. These are important aspects to your character and pivotal to their build, so give this part some thought. Think about how you want to play the game. Do you want magic? Do you prefer being sneaky and nimble? Or perhaps you're a natural swordsman. Find the one that speaks the most to you. Now fill out your name, race, class, level, all that good stuff. Leave XP for your DM. Once you have that, get your books or pull up the official race and class pages from D&D Beyond. You'll want to read these carefully, like three times, seriously. Figure out if you get any bonuses or features from your race or class and add them to your sheet. Now plug in the numbers where you want them and add any bonuses. Now all you need to do is take a look at this handy dandy ability modifier chart from the player's handbook and write down what bonus you get from your big ass numbers. Now the tricky part, and listen carefully. Your class, race, and background will state clearly what skills, languages, or proficiencies you have. Write those down and any proficiencies you get, bubble them in. Usually you'll have around four to six bubbles on a sheet. At level one, you get a proficiency bonus of plus two. So if you are proficient, that means it's bubbled in, you will add two to that. Plus whatever bonus that particular skill is a part of. See how Arcana says it's INT or intelligence? That means you will add whatever your bonus to intelligence is. Again, you will add that extra plus two from your proficiency bonus only if it is bubbled in. Go down the line and plug in the numbers according to their stat and add any plus two bonus or higher if you're starting at higher levels. Check the proficiency bonus chart in your character's class for that. Your passive perception is 10 plus whatever your perception is here. Once you have those numbers, double check languages and tools you might get from your class, race, features, or whatever. Don't miss any. Now you want to take a look at what equipment you get. You can always choose to roll for wealth if you want to. Find that table in the player's handbook as well. Find what armor you start with, if any, what weapons and gear, Find the armor, and in its description, it will tell you exactly what your AC is. Add that. Now your race will tell you your speed. It's usually between 25 and 35. Initiative is just your dex modifier, whether that's a plus 2 or a plus 5, whatever. Plug it in here. Your HP is spelled out for you in your class, as is your hit dice. If you are higher level, just roll or take the average for the hit dice for each level, and don't forget to add your con modifier for each level. Now, fill out your weapon and spell attack and damage info here. This is different for each weapon, but usually sword is plus whatever your strength is, range is plus your dexterity. You add your proficiency bonus to your weapons modifier, and that's your attack bonus. Damage is spelled out in the weapons or spells description. The last thing you want to do after plugging in all those damn numbers is to think about your personality traits. That's easy. Ideals and bonds are different, but think of it like ideals are what your character believes in and bonds are what they are attached to. This can be a place or person or item or even a mindset. And flaws are, well, flaws. These are important, especially in role-playing. Spells are a whole other video. We have a handy video for that as well, but just like weapons, your spells get a bonus from whatever your spellcasting modifier is. It will tell you in your class. Add your proficiency to that modifier and you have your spell bonus. Your spell save is eight plus whatever your modifier is. Easy peasy. Make sure to read each spell you have too. They are all different and don't all act the same. Seriously, read them. And that's it. Wow. That is the fastest way I can possibly describe how to build a character. Once you get good, you can churn them out in a good 20 or 30 minutes if you're trying to speed build, but take your time. For a more in-depth look at character building, check out this video here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, feed your displacer beasts, and we'll see you in the next one.